नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर करेंसी ट्रेडिंग सीरीज बाय कोटक सिक्योरिटीज एंड टुडे वील बी लुकिंग एट व्हाट इज फॉरेक्स ट्रेडिंग फॉरेक्स की जब भी हम लोग बात करते हैं द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट कम्स टू योर माइंड इज द मनी दैट वी हैव द मनी दैट वी पे टू बाय थिंग्स दैट इज समथिंग वी एक्सचेंज टू गेट गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस बट आप अगर फॉरेक्स ट्रेडिंग की ओर देखो तो फॉरेक्स जो है या करेंसी जो है दैट बिकम्स द फंडामेंटल ऑफ अ इकोनॉमी सो लाइक एनी मतलब आप जो भी ट्रेडिंग की बात कर रहे हो सो लाइक एनी अदर असेट क्लास द बेसिक आइडिया बिहाइंड इट इज टू परचेज लो एंड सेल हायर आप फ्यूचर्स की बात करो या स्पॉट की बात करो जो भी है द बेसिक आइडिया इज टू बाई लो सेल हायर एंड वाइस वर्सा अगर आप शॉर्ट कर रहे हो तो बट यहाँ पर दिक्कत ये आती है कि बिकॉज करेंसीज आर द बेसिक्स द बेसिक फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ एन इकोनॉमी आप इसको ट्रेड करोगे किसके अगेंस्ट वॉट विल यू ट्रेड द करेंसी अगेंस्ट सो दैट इज वेर वी कम अक्रॉस द टर्म्स लाइक रिलेटिव वैल्यू सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो और इफ समी आस्क यू वॉट इज द यूरो डूइंग हाउ इज इट परफॉर्मिंग सो देर इज अ बिग प्रॉबिलिटी और पॉसिबिलिटी that the person in front of you is asking what the euro is doing against the dollar so whenever somebody asks you is the euro stronger against the dollar or weaker against the dollar or uh, in general if they ask you if is the euro stronger so that they they imply that what is the euro doing against the us dollar the same thing with the pound agar aapko koi puche ki cable kaisa hai kya lag raha hai cable mein so you know that they are basically asking you a view on gbp against the usd so it is uh, the euro and the pound cannot be traded individually so aapko isko pair mein hi karna padega ya in general koi bhi currency jo hai wo individually trade nahi hota so you have to trade it in pairs so these are some of the common currency pairs so euro usd that is the euro and the uh, us dollar the euro and the uh, pound uh, the 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 dollar dollar and the rupee, the, uh, dollar and the yen. So इसमें आप एक पैटर्न ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हो थ्री करेंसी हैव डॉलर इन दम वेल वन ऑफ द करेंसी दैट इज द यूरो जी बी पी डज नॉट हैव डॉलर इन दम सो इफ यू आर एज क्यूरियस एज आई एम लेट एस डिग अ बिट डीपर इन टू इट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट करेंसी पेयर देर आर बेसिकली थ्री मेन टाइप्स ऑफ करेंसी पेयर और ओनली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ करेंसी पेयर मेजर्स minors and the exotic so let us see what majors are majors are basically currency pairs that have uh, the us dollar in them so something like euro usd uh, the usd yen the, that's the dollar yen the australian dollar and the us dollar then the uh, pound versus the dollar the uh, usd chf so these are basically the major pairs that is they are they have the dollar in them but what if you were to trade one of the pair theek hai uh, say for example aapko euro strong lag raha and you want to go long the uh, euro but now the question arises what is your view on the dollar now that you are long on the euro but your view on say the dollar is slightly dicey slightly slightly wobbly you're not very sure what's happening in the us so aap chahoge ki aap ye dollar term jo hai yahan se avoid kar sako on the other hand let us assume say you have a view on pound aapko lag raha hai ki pound weak hone wala hai again isme bhi dollar hai you are a bit wobbly to aap uh, gbp usd pair jo hai wo short karne se katra hoge wahi par aap euro usd pair jo hai wo long karne se bhi katra hoge so here you would actually wish ki what if i can actually eliminate the usd factor from it and that is where the miners come in so these are basically pairs wherein there are two major pairs that are uh, quoted or traded against each other so yahan par you have something like the euro pound uh, the pound yen the euro yen the pound and the canadian dollar so ye yahan par aap एक ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हो डॉलर पार्ट और द डॉलर वैल्यू और द रेसिडियल वैल्यू ऑफ द डॉलर इज कम्प्लीटली रिमूव नाउ दीज करेंसी पेयर स्पेशली ऑन द एन एस सी आर नॉट वेरी लिक्विड सो इसमें आपको सिंथेटिक बनाने पड़ेंगे नाउ हाउ टू मेक दैट इज फॉर अनदर वीडियो दैट विल बी कमिंग इन द फ्यूचर बट फॉर द टाइम बींग आप ये कर सकते हो दीज आर द माइनर पेयर 
Now what happens is, uh, say someone wants to know what is happening in, uh, say, INR CNH. Okay, so that is when these pairs come in, exotic pairs. Now INR CNH was just one of the example. Now say for example, kisiko chahiye ki euro and the South African rand mein kya chal raha hai? Pound and South African rand mein kya chal raha hai? Wahi par Australian dollar, Mexican peso mein kya chal raha hai? Ya euro or Turkish lira mein kya chal raha hai? So that is where exotic pairs come in. Now when you are trading exotic pairs, aapko ek cheez yaad rakhni. Of course, these are not traded on uh, NSE. But uh, just as an information, aapko ye ek baat yaad rakhni hai ki these are uh, very illiquid. Yeah, isme liquidity ka aapko issue ho sakta. I'm not telling that they are illiquid, but there is a big possibility ki as compared to say the uh, Euro USD or the GBP USD, aapko ye currency isme liquidity thodi kam mile. Now, hum logo ne ye samjha ki it's a relative term. We have come across what are the different types of currency pairs. Now, let us focus on reading the currency code. Okay. USD INR is equal to 80. You got a quote for, say, uh, the uh, US dollar and the Indian rupee. And you know that it is trading at 80. So, in your mind, the first question will come to 80 what? So, I'll simplify it for you. The currency pair is USD INR ka, that has basically two currencies. So, one is your base currency. Hota hai. The one that is on the left hand side, that is the base currency. So, in this case, the USD becomes the base currency. And then there is INR on the right hand side, that is the quote currency. So, when you say USD INR is equal to 80, your base currency hai, that is $1. Barabar. And when you are telling that USD INR is equal to 80, $1 is equal to 80 rupees. So to purchase $1, you have to shell out 80 rupees. Now, uh, let us dig deeper into it. So say for example, you have dealer ko call kiya. Aapne pucha ki USD INR kya price chal rahe. He says 80, 80.0050 80 half wo bulta hai. Okay. So what yaha par aapko do price mil rahe. Again yaha par confusion hai. Okay. Aap bolo ke ki karan aapne bula tha ki quote mein there are two currency pairs. Ham log aapne base currency samjai. Uh, quote currency samjai. Fair enough. Now what are these two prices? So ek price hota hai aapka bid. Now bid is the highest price that the buyer is willing to pay. Jab, let me tell, put it to you this way. When you buy something, you want to pay the lowest price, right? So, when you are seeing this code, it means that the buyer is saying that I will not buy it on this side. There is the ask price. Ask is the lowest price at which the seller is willing to sell. That means, uh, now think from a seller's point of view. You have bought it on 79, you have to buy the highest price when selling. So, you are saying that 80.0050 or 80 half ke niche mein isko nahi bechunga. So, that is the ask price. So, agar uh, 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 next time you have dealer that 80.00 uh, and 80.0050 is the price, now you know what's the bid and the ask price. The difference between the bid and ask is called the spread. Now, let us look at an example. Say, Mr. A. Unko currency mein trade karna hai. This is his first day. So what he does is basically buys a USD INR August future at 77. Now what does this mean? Hum logo ne base or uh, quote currency ko dekha. So now you know that he has paid uh, 77 rupees for one dollar. Okay. So he has paid 77 rupees for one dollar. Now, usne long kiya hai basically. Uh, so he is long the USD. Matlab usko lag raha ki USD, uh, the US is actually stronger. And uh, the Indian rupee is actually slightly weaker. Again, this is a relative play. Usne US ka data dekha, India ka data dekha. He might have come to a conclusion and uh, assumed that the USD INR pair is going higher. So now, we'll split this into two scenarios. Uh, so one phase where it is going in his direction, where he is right. And the other phase where unfortunately he is wrong. So let us look at his PNL. Take care, usne 77 per a lot kharida. And the lot size is 1000. So his contract value comes to 77,000. Okay. Say, a step hua in his favor. And the prices went to 77,20. Matlab, the USD became stronger against the INR. And, jo cheese usne 77 mein kharidi, aaj wo 77,20 mein bech pa raha hai. 
दैट मीन्स सेवेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड का जो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट वैल्यू था दैट हैज गॉन अपू सेवेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सो इज मेकिंग अ टू हंड्रेड रुपीज प्रॉफिट अनदर टिक ऑन द पॉजिटिव साइड एंड ही हैज मेड अनदर टू हंड्रेड रुपीज सो अगर आप सेवेंटी सेवन से कंपेयर करो राइट नाउ ही इज मेकिंग फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज नाउ दी अदर साइड वेर अनफॉर्चुनेटली द प्राइस इज वेंट अगेंस्ट इम ओके सो सेवेंटी सेवन से इट केम डाउन टू सेवेंटी सिक्स एटी ही हैज लॉस्ट टू हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड देन देर वॉज अनदर नेगेटिव टेक uh and the price has moved down to 7660 and there he lost 400 rupees so this is basically a pnl that uh, he'll be looking at in case there is a 20 paisa move in his favor or against him abhi how to understand ki price aapke favor mein jayega ki nahi what are the types of analysis that you'll be able to do uh what are the things that you have to look at before taking a trade kya yeah, probably mr a looked at before taking a trade ये सब आपको पता चलेगा इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज वेर इन विल बी कमिंग ऑन हाउ टू एनालाइज द करेंसी एंड वहां पर हम लोग आपको बताएंगे व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ एनालिसिस एंड व्हाट आर द डेटा पॉइंट्स यू हैव टू बी लुकिंग एट बिफोर एंटरिंग इनटू अ ट्रेड आपको क्या क्या कंसिडर करना चाहिए एंड इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल दैट वीडियो विल बी आउट वेरी सुन एंड ऑल्सो for continuous updates on the data points on whatever things that uh, uh, we at kotak are looking at agar aapko ye bhi janna hai to do subscribe to our telegram channel and be a part of that uh, forex community so that's all for today thank you for tuning in uh, i hope to see you all in the next video uh, till then stay safe trade safe investments in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing